Fellow Chad Pendulum Enjoyers, you all might be wondering why I've gathered you here to- Yeah, Daddy, why'd you shut the hell up, Step Celine? Okay. Now, I know Step Celine did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong whatsoever. But you want to know who did something wrong? Doug Zeef. The reason I've gathered you all here today is very simple. I have enlisted the help of all of our Pendulum brethren. Do, 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 do. Needle Fiber is our honorary Pendulum. Do, 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 do. Baron de Floor is our honorary Pendulum. Do, 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 do. Time Star was always a Pendulum. Together, we have, we all joined forces, we will be able to take on the evil that is Bird Up and every other dog shit deck in the game. Together, we will be the best deck. But Master Triff says we're already the best. That's a good point, Zephrath. It's because we are. Uh, uh, if I may speak, please. Sure, Celestial. Uh, I don't think we're the- SHUT THE HELL! What do you mean we're not the best deck? GET THE HELL OUT OF MY FACE! We're cutting you from three to one! Idiot. Anyone else have any comment? Yeah, I do. What do you want, Jackal? I just want to say... That, that I love you, man. Thank you for putting pendulums on your back for the last two years until we got back to Blyrus. <laughs> it's key. I love you too, man. Let's go win this together. Alright, guys! Let's win it all! For Pendulum! Yeah! Let's go to the battlefield we go! Ah! There's too many of them! Ah! I got you guys! Oh, you're so screwed now! Destroy a pendulum enforcer! Let's go! Pendulum best deck! Together, no one will stop us! Let's go! We reign supreme again, baby! So if the last one minute can teach you anything, I have too much time on my hands. But aside from that, if you don't think Pendulum is the best deck, then guess what? I won a local with Pendulum, so it's the best deck. And by winning a locals, I mean I really won 19 with Pendulums. And by 19, I mean if you don't think Pendulum is the best deck, would you like to end up a Celestial Magician on my floor? I don't think so. And by that, I mean Pen best deck, baby, let's go! I'm so excited to show you guys this video, because it's not just the first time that I won a Pendulum, it's like the 20th time. And this time, we're showcasing the most powerful card in the game. Destroy your Lion Enforcer, Pendulum Enforcer, Destruction Enforcer, it's the best card in the game. So if you guys are ready for literally the best Pendulum deck profile in this format, and probably in history, then make sure to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 52,000 subscribers, so smash the subscribe button. So it's time. DPE Pendulums, coming up. Right now, let's go. Yo, what's up everyone? Today's video, we got first place Pendulum deck profile. We got Endymion, Magician, DPE, Scythe Lock, everything. Absolutely insane with Zephyrus. I don't know how I did it. In the tournament, I got first place with Top Cut, lots of players. I uh, ended up beating Sam, it was awesome. Uh, the, I, the deck I played was 60 cards. What I just did right now, I spent an hour Bringing down 60 to as low as possible. We brought it down to 44. And we have all these engines in here. And it is absolutely insane. So I'm going to show you guys the list right now. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And take advantage of the Black Friday. Probably Black Week. Because it's going to go on until Tuesday probably. Get your Mighty Master Playmat right now. $20 off on TripGaming.com. Get it right now while it lasts. And let's get straight into the deck profile. So, first things first, the reason I want to play this is to take advantage of our beautiful Servant Endymion engine. The fact that these get so much free plus for nothing, and Duelist Alliance, Oracle of Zephra, Terraforming Mastery, the, like, all the spells that you play in your deck equal two spells by itself. So then you just need one extra spell, and that's so easy to get. So, especially with Fusion Destiny, being able to pop your own cards, and like a DP, I mean, Enforcer popping your own cards, it, it resolves so easily. Then you play three of these. Yo, later, Eric. We play three Harmo, and the beauty of this is, look, the, all these are such amazing cards. They, they, they're the best Pendulum cards. They're the best cards, best Pendulum cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. So the fact that they're so searchable by a variety of ways, you know, Harmo is searchable by Pen Call, Lewis Alliance, Joker. You know, Zephrath is searchable by Oracle of Zephra, Terraforming, Zephra Providence. It's so searchable, which makes it so amazing. So those are the 10 there. The two Joker to search for harmonizing or going second. Sometimes you want to search for Purple Poison to do 3k attack and pop something. Uh, also, you know, now next for some 1-ups that you play is 1 Sork, 1 Celestial, 1 Poison, 1 Oath. There's reasons why you have to play these specifically. So the Joker, you need it for going second to get the Purple Poison. 
pen call so you want harmonizing harmonizing always brings up baron de floor you want to make sure baron de floor is up to protect your plays that's why you play the oak dragon so because you do that play you need to have access to both a low scale and harmonizing to still be able to summon another low skill so it's good to have a multiple low skills as well so pen call resolves by playing three different magicians and duelist alliance sometimes you want it to search something that is not pen call so duelist alliance searches pen sorcerer and it comes up because pen circle will pop oracle of zephyr to get the joker absolutely insane and it's really good that level fours next you play two zephyr nui uh very good obviously it's a plus one the jackal and mighty master just one of each of them and then play two souls I've opened multiple souls a lot of times in the tournament at 60 cards. I don't really want to open it. And it's not that insane. It's good, but not crazy. So two is all you need. Even play one. In fact, if you don't want to pay for it, pay, play zero. Scythe here, however, is something you absolutely do have to pay for. And that is a Fusion Destiny Package. DPE is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. It is not even close. It is literally the best card probably I've ever seen. Pendulum enforcer bro not phoenix enforcer that card's insane so it, you i'll show you guys some combos in the video but it, it extends your play so far and it's the best way to pop scythe don't use needle fiber to pop scythe use the dpe and these look like bricks these two absolutely are bricks but they are damn worth it don't forget as well that you don't always need to pen make dpe if you go if you're going first or second and you realize a great play without dpe Celestia is level 4. This makes Tornado Dragon. You can still pop your Scythe if you have to pen summon this. If you want to pen summon these for whatever reason, you can still do so. So, Destiny is definitely not a brick. That's good to open. But Scythe as well is not a brick because if you hard draw the Scythe, you don't need to go Dag Dead. So, you skip a step. All you need to do is 1 rank 4 or any 2 monster to make Verte. These are the only ones you don't want to open. But even then, you got to look like it's fine. It's, it's totally fine. That's all it for the monsters. The spells. 1 up start. It's the only draw card you play. Three Alliance, three Pen Call, three Zephyr Providence, three Oracle of Zephyr, three Mastery, and one Terraforming. Now, you need to make sure to play as many spells as possible to be able to trigger your Servant and Abductor. But keep in mind that all these spells, literally every spell you see here, equals three spell counters by themselves. I'll explain the logic behind that, okay? When you act it, well, these act are all three spell counters. All of these give three spell counters by itself. Because if you activate Servant already, you activate Master, you get Mighty Master. Two counters on Servant plus one for Mighty Master on the scale, that's three. This gets three. This gets three because of the scale you activate. Each of these get two. Each of these get two. So all you need to do is open two spells. Since so you're playing 17, you're always resolving Servant and Abductor. Now, as far as Droll is concerned, post side deck, okay? There's a way to play around Droll and Lockbird. It's called DPE. It is insane. And that's how you play around Droll and Lockbird. So, go, going second, you, you make Oracle of Zephyr, you make Zephyr Providence, you make Pen Call. You make these cards, you activate these cards first, and you use it to search. You don't use Zephyr Providence to search Oracle of Zephyr going second, or uh, post side deck to search Oracle of Zephyr. You use this to search uh, Zephyrath, because if they droll you, it doesn't matter. You get your scale and you get a free monster from Zephyr Nui, and that way you still get access, especially if you use Pen Call first. You get access still to Negates, as well as Dagda and Verte through Droll. That's the be-all, end-all goal, and it does so much for consistency. And uh, consider it a 43-card deck. And for those idiots that are saying, Triff, bro, why are you playing Upstart in a 44-card deck? Have you read Servant? Have you read Abductor? If I could play 15 Upstarts, I'll play 15 Upstarts. You don't want to play Into the Void because you do actually have a nice follow-up. If you really want to, you could. And you know what? I will. I will play Into the Void. We're playing a 45-card deck now. Play Into the Void. That card is insane for this. The you could make into the void and yo actually let me confirm yo alan yeah. so celestial magician you know it's like scarm at the end phase yeah. i could decide to into the void discard no hand and then add a celestial right yes. all right play into the void as well let's go another spell we're gonna play a clean 45 that way for you people that can't afford uh, sleeves now all you need you have 45 you can get a pack of sleeves have 45 for your main deck 15 for your side so you're good. I look out for you guys. And also, this is the 45th, the one divine strike. So now we're going to do the extra deck. So very simplified extra deck, okay? There's not no crazy plays. You play three link twos. That's these three. Turn one. This is a combo tutorial. It's very simple. If you could do two plus two equals four, you could do the combo. It's so damn simple. Activate Dagda. Make Verte. That's it. That's it. If you guys could make do that, that's all you need to do. Now, typically, you have a Baron de Floor set up before this play uh, with harmonizing, and you still make these very easily. Sometimes you have a Jackal, sometimes you have a Mighty Master protecting your plays, and then you pull off the Verte. Sometimes you, like, the best play as well is you make Dagda, 
with like trigger some random card, set the sight, and then you use this as a material for the verte. So very, 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 very powerful. Uh, so these three. And then Mascarina is what you save for after. Once your verte is gone, once your dagda is gone, you want Mascarina as another, like your last interruption at, near the end. One Unicorn, it does come up. One Selene for this version, because you are not climbing cost sheep absolute vortex. You save the Selene for the very end. You do not use this going first. You save this for going second. Access code and Boral Sword. No need for Appaloosa because there's no extenders in the deck, so you don't need to make it. And we play a lot of synchros to stop Monster Negates and Jackal as well. So this is good. And once access code is gone, you go Selene access code. The, you only Selene when you're trying to access code. So once you get these done, your opponent thinks they're safe from an OTK, but then you uh, trick them with the Boral Sword. And there's so much space in the extra deck that you're actually allowed to play these. Next, DPE. You already know what it is. Best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Second best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Barone de Floor. These two are absolutely game-breaking cards. You should be doing whatever you can to play these in your decks right now. They are just that crazy. Especially when you're combining it with Scythe. With Baron de Floor, you could summon Scythe three times in one duel very easily. Baron de Floor is absolutely busted for triggering Scythe multiple times. Also, you play one Savage Dragon. Because you don't play an Appalooza, you want something else to be able to negate Nibiru going like uh, turn three when uh, your, your Baron de Floor is gone and something like that. Savage is very easy to make, obviously. So you play those. Now for XYZs, Baguska, Mandatory. Tornado Mandatory because you don't play Needle Fiber. No needle fiber in this version, guys. No needle fiber in this version at all. You, no tuning magician, no bricks, no nothing. Just pure sauce. Pure like, gas. Nothing else. No need for needle fiber because needle fiber is only good if you're playing pure magicians. In pure magician, needle fiber becomes one of the best cards ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's a one card, needle fiber equals Baron de Floor with Scythe Lock with Baron de Floor. But in this version, when you special out tuning magician, you never have two magicians in the scale. So now it's basically like special summoning and effect valor from your deck. So there's no value for doing that. You don't gain anything. You just get one free card in the field that does nothing that's just gonna get linked anyways to Dagda or Verte. So don't do it. Dweller Time Star Zeus. Very important, every single card in here. DPE is your main way to pop Scythe. Tornado is your second way to pop Scythe. But Guska is how you go second. Going second, you bait your opponent with all their cards, and then you drop a Baguska. Your last two links go into Verte, if you want to, or whatever it may be. I mean, you don't need to. This is to stall one turn for you to kill them on the next turn. Dweller comes up a lot as well, because it's the best interruption, especially on Brick Hands. It's very good to have one. And Time Star and Zeus. Zeus is very, very vital, man. It's very good. And when you're playing an extra deck with such insane... Like, I've been, I was saying this earlier to my friend. These cards that you're witnessing right here, these are arguably the four best extra deck cards after Electromite that I've ever seen in my life. I, and that's no boost, that's just facts. DPE, Zeus, Baron de Floor, Access Code Talker, and this deck has access to every single one of them, especially with Selena Access Code. Then you, you're on top using the Dagda Lock. Like this extra deck, for the first time in a very long time since Electrum was banned, the Pendulum extra deck has access to the most broken extra deck in, in the game. The only reason why Dragon Link was good for so long is because they had LP, they had Needle Fiber, they had Link Ross, they had Pisty, they had all these broken cards. Now Pendulums have all these broken cards. And we're still not keeping in mind Savage Dragon, Verte, like another free Mascarena, Boral Sword, like... The, throw these cards in different eras even like six months ago one year ago and they'll be there as the best extra deck cards there and then at the top of that you have these xyz's that are still so good with it it's absolutely insane this extra deck's incredible and by cutting the needle fiber package you, you make space for these and it's so good and because of zephyra also getting you the counter trap negate to stop dark ruler droplets all that with jackal mighty masters and the gates as well it's just absolutely insane side deck now this is the trip classic I actually won the finals with Lava Ghoul and Burning for 1,000, which is hilarious. Uh, Dark Roller, you side these nine against Heavy Combo. You're playing a, 44, a 43 card deck, and these nine, very easy to draw. Also, three Lightning Storm, three evenly matched. Against Backer decks, you play these six. You play three Lightning, three evenly. And some decks, some decks, Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler, Sphere Mode, Lava Ghoul, and evenly. You play all 15. I know it sounds ridiculous to play these 15, but you have Pen Call to discard, and you have Souls to discard. So in the scenarios where you draw too many, it's fine. And the cards you take out, you'll you have to take out Engines, okay? So typically, you're not siding more than 9. And keep in mind as well, this deck has no hand traps. It's all combo cards. So it's not like you're siding in a build, like, like, 
oh my god, I'm siding in 10 cards, I'm gonna brick. No, but you have your whole deck's 45 card engine cards. So when you when you side in nine, you have 36 engine cards. You're playing the best deck. This deck plays with two, three cards, is the way we built it. Uh so like you know, take out engine cards and that's it. That's it for the video. It's absolutely cracked of a deck. I'm telling you guys right now. Absolutely insane. I could do hundred test hands and ninety-nine of them will pull up unbreakable boards through droplet. Through dark ruler. Through dark ruler. Through Valor. Through Nibiru. All those cards do nothing. The, the way you build a deck, you play around the Nibiru very easily. You make sure to harmonize you burn the floor before the fifth summon, and you still resolve the Scythe Egda. So it's very, very good to do that. Uh my last things I want to say is the only reason this deck is good is because it's played on the beautiful Endemian playmat that you can get right now at triggermean.com and you gotta take advantage of the black friday cyber monday sale right now i don't care when you're watching this if it's a monday or a tuesday it's probably going to be turned down by december so you guys basically have until november 30th to get it 20 dollars off make sure to get it right now make sure you smash the subscribe make sure you smash the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace